Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what we're going to be doing is talking about the Arch GUI. Now this is definitely one of the more requested distributions that I go ahead and overview. One, it gives you a very easy way to install Arch, and they have both peer versions of various desktop environments as well as some with some different themes and pre-configurations and things like that. You can really choose whatever you want. Uh, I went ahead and installed it real quick because uh, I was just running Fedora and I borked it trying to get uh, AMD Pro drivers to work. So I figured I would go ahead and give this distribution a try on some physical hardware. Uh, what I'm currently running on this system is the themed GNOME Edition, but we're going to be talking more about the peer and going through the installation process of one of the peer editions. Uh, this is the website right here. When you first go to it, you're greeted with a change log, and you can see it was last updated on October of the year 2021, which is this month, so it is fairly up to date. Uh, they added driver support, better FS sub volumes, the live uh, USB now has more space, and a whole bunch of different things. You could go ahead and skim through that if you would like to. On their actual website under download, you have all the different additions here. They have Plasma, GNOME, XFCE, and we're going to be installing the uh, XFCE Peer Edition, just so I can kind of show you that process. They have Cinnamon, Mate, as well as some window managers, including i3 and BSPWM. And I mean, some of these, uh, the configurations are pretty nice. If you go under Feature here, you can see uh, Easy to Install, you get the Stock Desktop Environments or Themed. You have a gallery here with some of the different uh, themings or just stock installations you could go ahead and install. And you have About Us, which lists all the different developers or contributors here. So with that, just taking a look at the system I already have installed, like I said, this is the themed GNOME edition. And even with their themed editions, they don't really include too much uh, blow or any extra things that you don't need on your system. Obviously, there is some theming. If I go ahead and go over to applications here, you can see they have some of the uh, GNOME extensions installed. But if I go up here, let's search for tweaks real quick. And under appearance, you can see the themes they're using, which I do like the Vimix and Orcus themes. Uh, if we go under extensions, right here, they actually have a, quite a few different extensions, but uh, most of them aren't even enabled. The main things enabled are the application menu and the user themes, and then a whole bunch of other ones that are deselected by default. So if we go back over here real quick and actually go under additions, and let's say Plasma, we want to learn more about that. It gives us information on the flagship, which is their themed version and all the different features that are included additionally, including a NVIDIA GPU support, the themes, includes uh, the Office Suite with Microsoft fonts, printing support, Bluetooth support, media player. They're actually using Peru as the AUR helper, which is actually the first time I used Peru when I was uh, setting up this distribution, getting OBS and VirtualBox and all that fun stuff. And then of course they have the peer editions and like this is the one I actually have. And then of course you go with the GNOME peer edition, etc. Etc. So with that, let's go ahead and install one of these. All right, so here we are booted into the vanilla version of XFCE. I went ahead and changed the display. Now, right now I'm going to give you the only complaint that I have thus far, and that is there's no like super obvious install Arch Linux button either on the dock here or on the desktop. And that goes the same with the other additions that I believe. I know for sure the GNOME edition didn't have like a super obvious install Arch thing on the dock or anything like that but it's fairly easy to find if you do just the smallest amount of digging. If I go over here to system in the XFCE menu, hit install Arch Linux, this is going to go ahead and open up uh, Calamaris here. And I'm pretty sure that all of these are offline images, so everything that you need to get going is included in these ISOs, because going through this Calamaris installer, you're gonna notice that there are not really any options that go beyond what you would get out of just a base install of anything. So if we go here, go keyboard, English, default, next, we go ahead and erase our entire disk, make sure you have the right disk selected. Obviously, if you're installing this, do whatever you need to do for your specific use case. And here, let's just switch to better FS, just because it is a little better depending on what you're doing. Uh, let's go next. And here I'm gonna fill this out real fast. And then let's go ahead and use the same password for the admin account, hit next, go ahead and install it. And this is not gonna to take too much time at all, hopefully. Um, going through here, you're gonna notice that it's gonna give you a pretty good layout of what's going on in this little slideshow. It's gonna go the easy uh, to, or tell you the easy install vanilla Arch Linux, uh, what you get out of the project. And it's just gonna go over things like that about the actual Arch 
uh, GUI project. All right, and once the installation is complete, we're just gonna hit restart now and hit done. So let's do a quick login here. And here we are, we're now in our fresh install of just vanilla XFCE on a pure Arch instance. So if I go NeoFetch here, you're gonna see what we're running. We're running Arch Linux, the 5.13 kernel. And because it is XFCE, very lightweight desktop environment, we're running just under 500 megabytes of RAM on boot. And then if we go ahead and explore a little bit, you'll notice that the uh, little Arch Linux installer is gone. And we just have the peer experience that you're supposed to get out of this desktop environment. And speaking of peer experiences, we're gonna actually do the opposite of a peer experience. And let's dive into the live ISO of the Plasma version, of the themed Plasma version, just cause I wanna see what it looks like. We're not actually going to install it, I just am curious. All right, so this is their Plasma instance. So it's very similar to GNOME, has the same wallpaper, it looks like it has the same icon set. They're using just their standard menu. We go ahead and open up Dolphin, let's see what this looks like, some of the theming here. Uh, nothing too crazy, they do have the icons changed, but it, they haven't gone like too dramatic with the theming. If I open up the console here, uh, and there's not really any uh, bash theming or anything like that. So one thing I'm noticing with this is even if you do go with something like the, uh, here, let's open that again and see where our RAM was at, 871 megabytes, so not too bad. Even if you do go with one of their themed versions, it's so lightly themed with not too much added that it's not something like Garuda Linux where it's gonna completely bloat out your system and it's gonna have a, everything you could ever want and more like way more than that. Uh, they're, they're still pretty lightweight little uh, Arch Linux installs. And for this, like I said, the uh, install Arch isn't anywhere obvious, so we would look for it. It would probably be under, nope, there it is right there, install Arch Linux. So it's under system, install Arch Linux. And then this should be basically the exact same thing we saw in uh, XFCE, which it's looking like it is. So yeah, that is the Arch Linux GUI. A very easy way to go ahead and jump into Arch, especially if you want to, it to say Arch in NeoFetch for whatever reason. I personally prefer Endeavor OS, but if this is something you're looking for, where you don't even get any of their extra software or their uh, little bit of theming when you install it, uh, I really do like this for the uh, peer installs. It's a lot easier than obviously installing Arch the normal way or using even a script like ArchFi. So like anything or like all other videos, anything I referenced will be linked down below so you could go ahead and try this out. Maybe try out some of their tiling window manager, uh, Rices or whatever you would like to do. Uh, with all that said, I would love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell Valentino, Sledge, Hammer, Phil, Matt, Kyle, Timo, Anthony, and Chris Curtis. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. And big thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members you see on the screen now. Uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel, you go ahead, hit the join button down below, or head over to Patreon and do it over there. If you don't feel like doing anything like that, simply liking this video, subscribing, and ringing that bell is uh, more than good enough. Uh, with all that said, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day, and goodbye.